Hey, what's going on guys? Knoxville363. I'm here to talk about the Samsung Galaxy S6 again. It has officially been announced. The phone is coming out on April 10th for $649.99 plus tax in the color black. Okay, so no more white phones. The S6 will be coming out in black. So, let's talk about the S5 and the S6, okay? Judging from the comments that I've been reading, a lot of people are not wanting to upgrade. They're not really feeling that there's that much of an advantage between the two phones. Now, I've obviously been using my S5 since day one. Absolutely love the phone, no problems with it. But I do regret spending the $600 on it. Why? Because it's a phone. All right, $600, so now you're talking $700 for another new phone. The problem is, you know, the people who just got done spending it, well, how are you going to make your money back? That's the problem. Unless you want to give it to a loved one, a friend, whoever, you're really not going to get your money back. All the reviews that I've watched, have they've spoke about it, nothing but good things. The only bad things that people have mentioned in the reviews that I've watched are the obvious things that I've mentioned in my previous video. The lack of being able to swap out batteries and no more expandable uh, memory. Now it's going to be a 32 gig model. Now the iPhone, they offered, Boost offered it in several different models. This one, only 32 apparently. I don't think they're going to be offering the 64. God only knows how much that one would cost. Now, I know what you're thinking, 32 gig, that's it. Now, as a parent, I tend to use my phone a lot more to record videos of my son, but what I do is, if I ever, by chance, get low on storage, I just transfer all my videos to my PC, etc. 32 gig, that's a lot. Especially if you're not doing videos, if you're simply just taking pictures, I don't think a lot of people realize how small of a file a picture really is. You're not going to be able to fill up a phone. It really depends on the user. I tend to put a lot of movies and a lot of videos on my phone. So therefore I take up a lot of storage. I'm not too worried about it. I'm really, really eager to take a look at it myself. One big improvement outside of the screen resolution which just looks phenomenal I like the fact that they upgraded the chipset to it now and the fact that there's no more rear speaker. That's been one of my biggest pet peeves that I really thought the S5 was going to take care of. Considering the HTC One put it on the front and I bet that just sounded amazing. However, I don't know anybody that owned the HTC One so I could hear it myself. The review that I did watch, they spoke that that's probably one of the best speakers outside of HTC One's front-facing speakers. The sound quality is just amazing. It's hard to depict how well the sound is. If I were to play something on my phone to the camcorder, you're really not going to be able to pick up. You'd have to be there in person. Now, when the S6 comes out, I'm going to do my best and I'm going to do a nice comparison video for the S5 to let you guys know if there really are that many significant differences. I think the biggest thing you know, Samsung, they really focused all their attention on design this time. Yeah, th their biggest competitor is obviously Apple, so now they're mimicking their devices. Maybe they think that, hey, if we make our product look the same as an iPhone, maybe more people will be drawn to it. But I don't think that that's going to be the case. I think that they're just testing out the waters to see if, hey, are these new ideas better. One big thing which it's sold separately is the ability to charge your phone wirelessly. And they said that, I believe it's 50% of your battery in 30 minutes. If you already own the S5, the new charger that you get with it, it charges up your phone really, really fast. So I'd be kind of curious to see, A, how much one of those wireless, the wireless charging devices, the docks actually cost because... I mean, it's really not that big of a deal to charge your phone in the car, considering that that battery pack that that wireless thing is going to be on, and obviously is going to require power. And, I mean, just putting it on there. I mean, if you're already somewhere for 30 minutes, 
I would assume that you're buying an outlet, so why not just plug it in? The idea is cool, the technology is nice, but I just think that that's not one of the things that drew me into it. I just thought it was pretty cool. It has a lot less bloatware. That was another big thing that was discussed in the, in the review that I watched. I don't know. I'm kind of up in the air right now. I'm more eager to get my hands on it so I can check it out for myself. It's very debatable whether or not I'm actually going to buy one. I really want to, but after buying this one, my wife kind of got on me about spending $600 on a phone. I don't think she's going to be too keen on me buying a whole nother one. All right, well, that's my time for now. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for following me. I always pay attention to my Google Plus account. I always see when you guys share and thumbs up my video. So thank you very much for that. And hopefully you guys will be back for my review. Thank you guys for watching. It's Knoxville 363.